Good morning, Impact family. Welcome to church this morning. Merry Christmas. I am so glad that you joined us today. Um, I'm excited for today and for what today means and for what today is going to entail. Um, but as we think about announcements for this week, obviously there's not a lot going on uh, because it is Christmas week, but there will still be a Celebrate Recovery Saturday night here at the church at 530. But just because we don't have a lot of weekly announcements going on, it doesn't mean that there's stuff coming up. And so those are the things that I want to mainly focus on this morning. Um, the first of which is uh, there is another School of Ministry opportunity coming up at the beginning of the year. Uh, Pastor Shirley will be studying in the Book of Acts for those of you that want to join. Um, and it can be for credit or non-credit. And that will begin on Sunday morning, January 6th. And you guys will be meeting at 8 a.m. Um, in the CR room or the women's room. So if you are interested in that, please get a hold of Pastor Shirley and she can get you set up with all the information as far as that is concerned. Now every year, as you know, we do have an annual business meeting and that is coming up on January 12th, directly following the service. Now with that, we do need nominations for board members. So if you have someone that you think would be um, a good fit for um, the board, um, you can hand those nominations into Cheryl or Pastor Jeremy, and they need, I believe, to be in this week um, so that the board can start doing interviews and that sort of thing in preparation for the annual business meeting that is coming up. All right, so that kind of does it for the announcements for this week. Before we get into worship, I did want to share a little bit with you today to kind of set the stage for worship. Now, I think a lot of times we think that, okay, it's the Sunday before Christmas, and kind of almost, I know that I used to just kind of almost mark it off, okay, we're just going to do Christmas carols today, um, and just almost not really focus in on what we're actually doing. And so I want to kind of set the stage for worship today by reading a little excerpt out of Anne Voskamp's The Greatest Gift. It's an Advent book that our family has been reading this month, and it has so spoken to me in so many ways. But when I read this this week, I thought this would be a really good um, setting the stage for worship for today. She says, The herald of the king calls to you in this moment to come away from the crush and the crowds, to come away to a space of stillness, to be ready for the coming of the Lord. In the wilderness, there are few roads, so Christ is the only way. Rest here. Rest here and happy. Rest happy as only children can be happy in the days before Christmas. Rest happy and love the story of a coming king who prepares the downtrodden for Christmas by becoming the way, who lays himself down in the crash on the cross so we can lie down and rest. You are unconditionally accepted and unbelievably wanted because you don't merely know of him, you are related to him by blood. And so I just wanted to share that with you this morning um, as we kind of just quiet the rush that I know has been happening in our lives a little bit, and I'm sure in all of our lives as we prepare for Christmas this week, I just want to challenge you just to hush this morning and just to rest in his presence. We have some awesome worship songs that we're going to do this morning, and I just challenge you just to come away with Jesus today and be met by him because he loves you so much, and that is the true meaning of Christmas. So let's get into worship. <laughs> 